Hi everyone, my name is Ryan, and I'm the creator of TBITalk.com. I felt led to create a website for traumatic brain injury sufferers, like myself, to help others, to inspire others, to guide others in the process of healing with traumatic brain injury. I hope you enjoy my testimony, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on. today uh, about near-death experiences. About 5% of the American population have reported a near-death experience. That's over 16 million people in the United States alone. Today we're talking to Ryan, um, who got into a nearly fatal accident. He was in a coma for over six weeks uh, with very grim chances of recovery. Uh, like many reported near-death experiences, Ryan's life was changed forever as a result of this experience. And he's here, luckily he's here, to tell us about that. Um, we also have with us his mother, Karen, and uh, she saw him right after the accident, so we'll talk to her a little bit as well. And then um, also his father, Rich, is here with us. Um, so, Ryan, can you tell us uh, a little about yourself, what life was like um, prior to your accident? Sure. I remember being a very self-involved 15-year-old. <laughs> I didn't worry or think about how anyone else's feelings were. I thought I was going to be the next Bill Gates, the Steve Jobs, for instance. I thought I didn't need school. And so what, what happened on the day of the accident? What, what do you remember about the accident? I remember getting my go-kart, being so excited, driving it around, mm -hmm. and I looked left, looked right, had to turn around in the street, and I didn't see any cars coming, so I proceeded to turn around, and I went to go back to my driveway, and at the last second, um, uh, an SUV hit me. And I don't remember anything after that. So, Karen, you were there uh, near the place of the accident when it happened. What, yes. what do you remember? I vividly remember um, being down at our house and, and hearing a car going to speed up. And I knew Ryan was out and about. And something just told me that something bad was going to happen. And it did. And it collided with Ryan's go-kart. Um, I ran up and the SUV is still rolling backwards. Ryan, I'm finding a couple hundred yards away, laying on the ground, uh, you know, unconscious, barely breathing, bleeding. And I just wanted to have an ambulance come, take him to the, the trauma center and see where we were at. And um, it was minute to minute from there, but I was just in complete shock of what had happened. Yeah. Um, so, so Rich, uh, how did you experience this? What, what went through your head when you saw Ryan after the accident? Well, I got a phone call from my daughter that Ryan was in a bad accident, and I rushed there and came on the scene about 10 minutes after it happened, and he was just laying there, and nobody was touching him. So I didn't know if he was alive or dead. And I just remember praying over him and saying, go to Jesus, and just focusing on get into the hospital and we had family and friends meet us up there and help us get through this and finally the doctor called 
Karen and myself into a room and said they pretty much did everything they possibly could, but it didn't look good and to prepare for the worst. And to go home, get some rest, and because tomorrow was going to be a long day, and we were just devastated. Imagine. Um, Ryan, uh, you were in a coma for you know, over six weeks, uh, and you had this near death experience. Can you tell us uh, what you experienced during that time period? Sure. I remember being in this blackness, couldn't hear anything couldn't see anything. I, could, I didn't know what to do. And I had a vision back when I was in second grade in religion class. The religion teacher was saying, go to Jesus whenever you need help. Called out in the name of Jesus. And I felt myself starting to rise. Before I knew it, Jesus was in front of me. And I had a life review, everything positive that I ever did or said happened all in a flash. Felt so good for the good things I did or said, so bad for the bad things I did or said. I knew I needed forgiveness. And Jesus asked me, do you believe in me as your Lord and Savior? I said, I do. And he said, do you come to me for the forgiveness of your sins? I said, I do. He put out his right hand, nodded, smiled. Brian, welcome to my kingdom. And the excitement, I was, I was so excited. And the feeling in heaven far surpasses what our minds could even comprehend. Yeah. But you're here now. I. So, so what happened? Jesus asked me, or I'm sorry, Jesus said to me, you have to go back. You have special things to do. And after that, back, I had to learn how to read, walk, talk, all again. So, so it was like you woke up and you realized you couldn't speak. Yeah. In a sense, I was born again. Okay. Yeah, it's <laughs> a good point. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So, what would you tell people that are watching this? Uh, you know, what, what what do you want them to take away from this? To live life and and just realize how every day is so precious, and that every day is a gift from God. Don't get caught up in just thinking about yourself help others, and most of all, believe in God, Jesus Christ. You did not believe in God before this accident, right? No, I didn't. This has completely changed your life around. It has. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your story with us, and Karen, thank you for thank coming. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Rich. Thank you.